Hello, my name is Akutsuko, and welcome back to Perdita. Hello, Bridget. How are you doing? Uh, we're back at it again with that Krispy Kreme Donuts. Uh, we just, right before we ended the last episode, uh, the freaking guy was holding a key the whole time. These keys must have not have been there the whole entire time. Bridget, you didn't help me at all. I don't know what your problem is, but frankly, you're starting to piss me off. But... This is the stupidest mechanic I've ever known. You have to equip it, and then you have to use it. D like, I mean, come on, man. What's the point? Oh. Huh. That's not all that was in here. There's no way. There has to be more. Bridget! There can't be all that's in here. Bridget! Oh, I am gonna anger my way through the rest of this place. If I cannot find a single thing. Is there another key around here somewhere? Don't push me, Bridget! I'm getting sick and tired of your crap. <laughs> You're such a bitch. Bridget, can you go upstairs? Can you, can you come here? I'm stuck. Oh, I can jump. <gasps> Who are you? Friend? 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 Oh, I didn't mean to step on you, friend. Friend? Right, not friend. I swear, I'm, I'm looking everywhere, guys. I swear. There was nothing in here. What was the point of opening this? If there was nothing in here. That's what I want to know. One of these days. Yes, please go upstairs. <sighs> Alright, you can't go upstairs. Friend, help! You know, this is, this is usually the problem that I have with indie games. It's so... Bridget, please. What the fuck, Bridget? I'm not even going to complain. This is where I needed to go anyway. This is this is a problem that I've always had with indie games is like they're never directional. Everything I swear to god you have to find, but there's no direction to it. How are you supposed am I like missing something that I just don't know? Did you want light, sir? I don't know. Maybe you did. Maybe you did. Can I take this? Oh. I can't take it. Maybe there's just stuff that I haven't clicked on yet that I need to click on in order to unlock more stuff. But I don't know. Like, that's the problem with, with like, a lot of these types of games. Like, I'm not trying to shit on the game intentionally. I'm just... It's just annoying when you have, like... When you, like, kind of go into a horror game, you're expecting to just, like... You know, you're expecting to be scared. And I'm, like, way less scared now... Because I'm trying to search for things and I'm just getting irritated. Because I can't find it. Bridget! Bah! Do you like the music, Bridget? I'm playing it specifically for you. It's, it's a grand old time. No. Alright. I think it's all there is. I don't want to have to look up a walkthrough for this. Did I read this? Oh my god. My husband stays up late every night. I'm starting to think that he loves his art more than he loves me. He even puts spells around the house for him to notice me. But nothing seems to help. Oh. Oh, so you were trying to get... Bridget, help me find note number three. Bridget! Note number three, please. Note number three. Is it in here? Get the fuck out of my way. That's it. Ha ha! How did you get out? How did you get out? But it seems like it is. Bridget, please, just kindly go fuck yourself. We aren't playing tag, Bridget. I'm it. There. You happy? Okay. Bridget, I swear to God, if you fucking touch me one more time, I will become more powerful than you could ever imagine. Okay. We might... Okay, I'm gonna be really... I'm going to be so extremely pissed if this key is over here. Because I looked in this vase like a million times, I swear. Oh, I am, I am, I am anger. I am full of anger and woe. 
20 minutes of me going around the whole effing house and I wasn't able to do shit. Because I couldn't find the fucking... Bridget, I swear to God. I don't know where Bridget went. God, I hate this mechanic. Why is that even like that? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Baby! Baby! Yeah, I'm sure it was. Anyways, my husband Charles and I would rarely have guests for dinner. But when we did, I made sure everything was perfect. I forgot where his brain would be come from, but blah, 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 brain came from. But it would be the last thing I ate before I died. Tasted particularly sour. Hmm, with the slightest sweetness to it. This is disgusting. It reminded me that even in the worst humanity, we could find some things to cherish. My sweet Charles, how I wish I could paint you. How I wish you could paint a picture to illustrate this feeling. Like that. I'm sure he could, lady. I'm sure he could, if he wanted to. But I have a feeling this is disgusting. Mmm, a rotting human brain. Oh, rub the lamp, genie! Magic lamp! Ah, oh, damn! Can't take the magic lamp. Nope. Mmm. A bathroom in a horror game, you say? Interesting! I need to reload my battery. Or reload my flashlight, sorry. Horror. The horror! Oh no, I have no face! Quick, close the door. Everything's going terrible. Alright. Get out the window! Alright. Beautiful. Oh. Uh, uh, uh. Nope, nothing. Aha! Julia Journal 6! A mirror shows us our past, present, and future. Mine is crafted with the finest black obsidian, with handmade bronze frame. I have spent countless hours looking into the abyss within myself. I am beginning to understand that I have a beast within me, a certain urge we all possess, something I must control. In the mirror, I see my future. I see me being alone, finally united with my unborn little boy. Oh, that's why there's little thingies all over the place. Also, I have no reflection. Wait, did I not fucking... Did I not use that? Oh, that's the st Oh, fuck off, game. I'll keep that music on for you. No problem? Okay, cool. Wait. Didn't it say that the key was in the bathroom? Bridget, can you read that note for me, please? No, don't worry, I'll get it. Or no, wait, that was on the husband's letter. I might have dropped it somewhere in the bathroom. Okay. You th think you might have dropped it somewhere in the bathroom. You don't know that you dropped it in the bathroom, but you think you did. That doesn't do me a whole lot of good, Charles. Hey, what's up? It's me, Post Editing Wreck. Yes. I'm about to save you about like, 15 or 20 minutes of me fumbling around trying to find this freaking key because this game doesn't know what it wants to be Whether it wants to be a horror game or if it wants to be a where the hell is Waldo game But you know what? I'm not gonna continue shitting on the game because I feel like I've done that enough already and I frankly just feel like an ass cuz maybe hey, maybe it's my fault But you be the judge of it. I don't know so after searching up a walkthrough I finally found where the hell the key is and uh well, there it is. Alright. Are you serious? Is it in here? That's so cheap. That's so cheap. That is, that is cheap. That's cheap. That, no. See, that, that annoys me. Look at that right there. This, this is right here. Look at that garbage. How would anyone ever be, that's not a puzzle. That's just garbage. That's just straight up garbage. That is not a puzzle. Put it somewhere cool. You're pointing here. For some effing reason, you're pointing here. So, of course, I'm gonna look in the thing. Who would ever think to look 
so close. It doesn't even show up as like a blinking thing. You have to know it's there. You just you have to either chance glancing it or you know what? This is garbage. This is gar I don't even care. I don't even care. I'm just gonna get through this. I'm just gonna get through this because I'm already irritated at this effing game. Oh, you can literally go fuck yourself. Oh no. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes, and. Yes, and. Yes, and. Yes, and. I need a key. Oh, great. Oh, good. More Bridget's. Just what I needed. Wish spell. May the goddess... Shut up. May the goddess go, light and love, grant me my wish, and quiet my heart. I place a desire in your hands for you to do as you will, as I deserve some more to be. Julia Journal 10. I sometimes lock myself in the mannequin room. Sometimes I practice turning them alive. Charles has said he saw one of them spin beside our bed late at night. Tell him not to worry. I have them under control. It's, I'm sure we have them under your control. Voodoo dolls with the Black Martha death. Oh, interesting. Hey, Bridget 1, Bridget 2. Or no, Bridget 2 and Bridget 3. And then... I don't know what to name you guys. You're just weird. You know what I mean? Hey, what up, baby? What up, baby? Oh, you're so cute. Uh... Oh, lovely. I'm guessing this used to be her baby room. You okay, buddy? You doing all right? All right, it's fine. My thingy's all out of stuff. Oh wait, I should probably be looking at this, right? Why would you do that to yourself? Don't do that to yourself. That's bad. Don't get angry. What? What's the matter? What are you looking at? That's making you so angry. Look, there's like so much stuff in this room. What key is this? Bedroom key. Okay, got a bedroom key. Ooh. Yeah. Wait. Oh, that's lovely. Julia was becoming a mother. Yeah, we know that already, though. She said it in her note. Uh, by the candle, I do sleep, hidden from the day and the night so deep. Oh, Lady Moon, guide my dreams. Cover me with your beautiful beams. Cover me with your beautiful beams. As candle by flame light dies, please close my eyes. Allow me to wake in the warmth of the sun. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. I think these were taken from legitimate things, too. Like, they had to have been. <gasps> Would this look cool in night mode? No, it doesn't. Never mind. Wait, what did I take? What did I take? This is actually really cool. I kind of like this. I like this room. Still a little confused. Oh, wait. There's a note here. Julia Journal 8. My husband Charles believes in his savior, Jesus Christ. I do not believe in religion. I believe it enslaves us into thinking a certain way. I am, however, highly spiritual. I can sense energies all around us. I let Charles put his savior above our bed. And I feel, uh, at night, I feel the statue's dead eyes staring at me. What statue? What statue? Oh. I just, I'm gonna keep the thing up just because it seems like the thing to do. Oh, yeah, I know. It's very scary. Swiggity swoops. Baba da booba da boo. I can't open this window. <gasps> Take. Oh. Equip that shit. Wait, how do I do that then? Oh, uh, wait. How do I use the thing? Effective against wood. Oh. That makes sense. Okay, floppy disk log. Can I look at these? Can I look at these? Four out of 12. Okay, I don't know what you're doing, but you're kind of freaking me out a little bit. I'll be honest with you. All right. I want to try completing this in just this one this one sitting because I'm starting to get places. Huh, I always kept the loft room do, do blah, blah, blah. I always kept the loft room door locked. 
I have been creating my own little world in this place. My healing sessions with visitors also take place here. Hence why the additional beds. I love helping my patients. I would record our sessions. So, like, she ended up turning bad because of the villagers taking advantage of her. But she used to be really, really good. So, I would edit them on my floppy disks on the old PC. Is that a, a thing that you could do? But all of this went horribly wrong when the, on the 8th of September. Lately, a dark presence has been lurking in the house. I can feel it in the walls, in the air, in my mind, an intruder. Okay, so she was possessed, maybe. An uh, intruder with, with which eyes cannot behold. I'm afraid I cannot keep the secret anymore. I, Julia Brown, murdered my last patients with an axe to the core. Oh. I even tried eating his brain in the dinner room afterwards. I tried to, cl I tried to clean the bed also, but it was impossible. Do you know how hard it is to get rid of blood? The presence took hold of me. Oh, God, please forgive me, Charles. Please forgive me, everyone. Oh. Oh, so she didn't do this of her own volition. She, like, she had, like, a presence in her house. I wish I could view these. I wish I could view those. Those would be so cool to, like, just take a look at to see, like, you know, get a little bit of story behind it at least. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like there could be a lot more story added with that. Okay, wait, where do I have to go? What did I just read that I have to do? Oh my god, I already forgot what I was supposed to do. Oh yeah, I got the axe, so I should be able to break some wood apart? Oh, this. Oh. Let's keep one to draw melee. Oh. Whoa. It's so lit. Oh, Christ. Oh no. Oh, whoa! Wait a minute. The locals used to remember me as a beloved local healer, not a revengeful type. To the person that is reading this, this is my confession. I, Julia, murdered my husband, Charles. I locked him inside his coffin after I killed one of my patients. A part of their brain in the dinner room. I could hear Charles gasping for every alley for hours. When silence finally came, I took a final glance at his lifeless body. After this, I went to the tallest tree outside of the bathroom, bathroom window and hung myself. For I knew the evil spirit has taken over me will bring me back even more powerful, but on one condition. I can never leave this place unless I destroy it completely. And unless a living soul discovers my secret, if you are reading this, you are already dead. Oh, no! Oh, can't see anything. I must get out! Whoa! Quick! Break the wood! Break the everything! I can't see shit. Ugh. I will destroy you and everything that you love. No. 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 Da -da 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 -da. No, I totally could have made it. Oh, wait. Maybe I did make it. It just says the end. I don't know if that was the end that I wanted. Oh. Oh, you know what? Okay, here's the thing. The story was awesome. Game design was... Oh, everything was pretty. And, like, it was scary at points, but, oh, my God, just the way that some of the puzzles were, were just, oh, they were infuriating. Like, place the keys or provide some linear, like, some of the keys had notes on them. And maybe I missed a note or something, but I spent nearly, like, 20 minutes looking for another key. And I could not find it because there was no indication on where it could have been. But like, oh, it was, it was good, but it was also really, really infuriatingly bad at, at some points. Just, just the placement of some of the keys, some of the mechanics were just eh, but it was a really, really good story. It was a good game in the sense that it was a great story. I enjoyed myself no matter how many times I got pissed off. But regardless... Thank you to everyone for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I hope you have a great day or night, wherever the heck you may be. And, uh, well, I guess I'll see you in the next one. If you want to check out the game for yourself, it is down in the description. As always, you can go and get it for free, or you can donate to the developer, of course, on Itch.io. Um, yeah, I guess that's about it. Hopefully I got a decent ending if there is any other kind of ending to get, but I think it's pretty decent, so... We will see you later. Peace out.